well. So I got asked the question, how many cylinders are in a V6 engine? So I thought I'd make a quick video on it and give a basic overview and explanation of it. But basically a V6 engine has six cylinders. And uh, right here you can see some um, a screen of, uh, of a six cylinder engine. As you can see, these right here, these circles right here on the side, those are the pistons or the cylinders. The pistons come up and down inside the cylinders. See right here, these are halfway down. When they come to the top, the spark plugs will ignite the gas and air mixture and it'll send it back down, which turns a crank. And each one of these will have a turn inside of a what's called a firing order in order to make the whole engine turn. So the V6 has uh, six cylinders. And the easy way to spot this is uh, if you just count the spark plugs on both sides, you'll be able to see there'll be three spark plugs on one side and there'll be three spark plugs on the other side. The fire in order will vary from vehicle to vehicle and engine to engine, but there will be, there'll be two sides and you'll have three spark plugs on one side and three spark plugs on the other side. An inline six or something like that would just have one bank and one long row of spark plugs. And if it was a V8, it would have four on each side. But that's why I'm saying just count the spark plugs on each side. Each side should have three on a V6. And uh, you'll know that you have a V6. So how many cylinders does a V6 engine have? It has six cylinders. So that's basically it. Uh, hopefully this video helps you. If you have any uh, questions, ask me down below and I'll try to answer them. If it does help you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.